All right, so the powder puff leafy, leafy, the powder puff, powder puff. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to come on here. I've just filmed this video, this look. I just wanted to come on here and let you know that this is going to be a pretty long video. Uh, just giving updates about my YouTube and um, for 2020 and what's going to be changing on my YouTube channel for 2020. Um, but I wanted to let you know, just grab a cup. It's going to be a long one. I deliberately made it a long one because there's a lot that I need to get through and explain in this video. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like this look. Uh, watch me create it now and I'll see you soon. This seems very, very <sighs> surreal because I've got a lot to say. As you can see in the title down below, we're talking about just updates, plans for 2020, that kind of thing. And I wanted to sit down with you guys because I'm chilling. It's a Saturday afternoon and a friend of mine has come to come visit later and I thought, you know what, let me just do my makeup. Let me look presentable. Let me look appropriate. Uh, for visitors but at the same time just share with you guys the things that I've been thinking about and the things that are going to be happening on this channel this year um, I don't even know so in the meantime while I share all of that with you is it's a get ready with me as you can see I don't have my any makeup on just my brows and um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about some changes while i apply all new makeup so all of the stuff that's on here is new and i haven't used it except this product here which is a glam glow product um so this is the glow glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer uh and i love it this is in sun glow which is the slightly darker one there is a um a lighter one for fairer skin tones which is nice uh, you know if i look down that i'm looking at a mirror so i loved how illuminated my skin looked when i had oh i hate doing my makeup with my wig on so there will be some channel changes this year and i'm already nervous to talk about what kind of channel changes there'll be because it's just gonna be like i don't know what the what the reception is gonna be when it comes to that i tend to uh think about a couple of things when i am in the december period i plan out my the following year and what i'm gonna do in the next year this is the only product that you guys have seen but i'm using it as concealer for my eyes okay so yeah um i normally just plan out my year my youtube content year does not involve beauty it's very very hard to say that with a straight face because i feel like the whole reason of me starting was because of beauty and now i'm trying to pretty much let it go it's crazy it's crazy so i'm going to be using the makeup revolution uh courage wild animal palette uh i haven't used the makeup revolution eyeshadow palette and with the ones that i was looking at this one looked more appealing to me because it's got great transition colors it's got nice colors everyone has got the pinks and whatever but um i loved the fact that the colors are more muted which is my kind of vibe so yes the truth of the matter is i will be um reducing drastically my beauty content on the channel um the reason being i've got other plans for 2020 but not only that i feel like there are a lot of beauty content creators in sa and that's great and that's amazing especially in the youtube space it honestly is amazing but for me beauty i love beauty and i'll continue buying makeup and i'll continue testing out products and i'll continue doing all those things but I just feel like I walked into 2020 with the whole idea that my focus, my sole focus, my sole um, mantra, if you will, uh, motto for this year is that I want to focus more on the things that make me happy, the things that make me more of a wholesome human being. Uh, beauty doesn't make me a wholesome human being, but things like um, spiritual wellness and mindfulness and um, just, you know, uh, concentrating on issues that affect us as women. Just, just all the things that appeal to me 
being a more wholesome human being is what I want to concentrate on this year. Um, and to be honest, that is the type of content that I am starting to watch online as well. So, um, beauty for me, it's, it's, it's great, but I just feel like it isn't the space for me anymore. I've done beauty for a really long time and I just feel like it hasn't taken off for me as much as I would like it to. And that's fine. That's not a bad thing. But even aside from that, I just feel like um, I just feel like carving my own path when it comes to YouTube, especially South African YouTube. I feel like um, there'll be people who are more appreciative of the new content that's coming that is all about looking after yourself and taking care of yourself um, as a human being and uh, spiritually and um, how do I say it? You know, just, just fitness and healthy eating and traveling. Traveling will definitely still remain on the channel. But I just feel like for me, last year taught me a lot about the beauty space of South African YouTube. It's not quite a space that is um, friendly for my mental health and my mental well-being. And because of that, I just feel like it's time to let it go. So I will definitely do something like this, which is like a sit down video and talk to you guys and just catch you up on what's been happening outside of the content that I'll be putting on the channel. Not only that, the reason why I'm putting up this kind of content is because I will be working very closely with this kind of content or this kind of, you know, lifestyle uh, changes, whatever in my business life as well this year. So I feel like my content must relate to the business kind of content that I'll be putting up. So it's very, very important for me to keep the two on track. Uh, but I feel like I want JK to be a space where someone can come if they want to be just like a, a, a um, if they want to be a better, um, just more wholesome human being, like learning about things like fitness and learning about eating right and whatever. That's what I want to concentrate my content on. And not only that, also just being a better human being, a better woman, you know. Um, there will be videos on the, there's a series that I used to do called The Working Woman. Yeah, I like this. I like this. There's a series that I used to do called The Working Woman. So there will be uh, that, you know, where we talk about the workspace, the professional space and that kind of thing. Uh, but honestly, I feel like that's, that's just it for me this year. I, with beauty, I'm, I'm good, you know, um, maybe I'll keep this kind of stuff and also at the same time, keep, um, like the collective beauty reviews, you know, you might not see the holes and whatever, but you'll see the collective beauty reviews. So the foundation I'll be using today is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Now I've wanted to try out this foundation ever since I saw Alyssa Ashley using this foundation. My shade is 16.5, which is nutmeg. S seems, seems pretty... Honestly, for me, leaving the beauty space is also a uh, mental thing for me. Um, I feel in this country, the beauty space is not a space that is good for my mental well-being. I, I feel like I'm constantly hearing this and that and the cattiness and the all of this and, you know, just people acting like they don't know you when they know you and they see you and then when cameras are on, people pretend like, oh, me and you are cool. Like, no, nah. no. Nah. That's not my cup of tea and it's okay at the same time. I just feel like I've outgrown that kind of uh, behavior. I really feel like I've, yeah, this is nice. Ooh. I want my content to be a more, a better reflection of me and a better reflection of who I am, a good representation of me. Um, and yeah, the, 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 the beauty space isn't quite a good representation of me. I feel like people enjoy the the motivational stuff the empowering stuff from me you know and i feel like um for the space that i'm in in my life right now it is better to show that kind of uh reflection of myself um so yes my content will definitely be more 
on self-development my content will be more on um just wellness and mindfulness about uh for yourself so um just a better wholesome you right and also keeping in line with the vlogs will also be there i know you guys enjoy the home vlogs quite a bit so i'll keep those vlogs on the channel and when i'm traveling i'll vlog all of that as well um but honestly in truth for the most part the beauty videos are probably gonna go yeah my entry into 2020 was a rather interesting one i was away with a good friend of mine i call her stella but stella is not her real name but i call her stella i was away with stella and i met this wonderful girl while we were away and me and her have been talking almost every day since i met her um so we left stella and i left on the 31st for um a very very lovely hotel in the in Machalisburg. if you're from johannesburg you would know where Machalisburg is um and and pretoria and 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 but i met this really wonderful girl and she was on a little getaway with her boyfriend and she's probably gonna watch this video and go ah uh, she was on a little getaway with her boyfriend and I was having dinner with Stella at this time and it was the first night that we were there. The powder that I'm going to set my face with is this one which is a NYX one. This is the NYX uh, Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. So I met this girl and she came up to me while I was sitting having dinner with my friend and she she's like sorry Katleo, hi blah blah i watch your channel oh my god she was so adorable and i'm like oh hi got up um i think i even did insta snaps of it that night as well and later on that evening after dinner because it was the 31st so everybody was going to be sitting out on the terrace having drinks while we count down to 2020 and her and her boyfriend joined us and we chilled and we all chilled and we all had a good time and it was just such a lovely space she's such a great girl we were just in awe of the both of them because we were just like oh my god they but they just so cute though and then for contour you guys know i normally often contour with my bobby brown uh contour powder but for contour i picked up this nyx three steps to sculpt uh face sculpting palette so this one has contour and highlight so we're gonna try both of them i don't like deep dark contours but i like there to be a little bit of definition on my face so it's good i don't really contour maybe maybe i bronze more than i do contour right but i use the bronzing oh, oh i love that mm -hmm. really like that so for highlighting i'm just going to use this highlighting side let me see <laughs> i call my little sister show my jersey because for the whole of december she had pink and purple hair pink and blue hair and everybody's just been show my jersey her Shoma Josie is a phenomenal human being. Like, the amount of kids that I saw with purple and blue and pink braids was amazing. I feel like Shoma Josie is a phenomenon. She's literally just started some things up in this country, okay? She really has. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying everything that I've been using. Uh, these are things that other people have been using that I've been seeing online as well that, you know, people are really enjoying. So I wanted to jump on them. And so far... I can actually say I really, really like them as well. So that's good, I guess. That's good, right? For the lips, I got the Powder Puff Lippy. And one is, these are powder lip creams. And one is in Moody. And then the other one is in Cool Intentions. Do you remember Cool Intentions? Nice. I am just going to try Cool Intentions. And let's see. If I don't like it, we'll talk about it. If I don't like it, if I do like it, we'll talk about it. All right. So the powder puff lippy, lippy, the powder puff, powder, the powder puff lippy, um, is a lip cream. So when you open it, it pretty much has that, like the um, this little puff at the top here. And I suppose what you do is you squeeze. Need a little bit more of it, please. Ah, <gasps> it's actually coming out on the side. 
Oh. This is me literally scrubbing it from the side. Okay. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is put it on our... Oh, that time it's an amazing color. Ah, oh, I'm so disappointed in how I have to apply it now. Oh, it's a beautiful color. I don't know if it's reflecting. It's, it's literally the perfect nude. Jeez, it's pretty. I really would like to know what your plans for 2020 are. I've got major, major plans for 2020. But I really just wanted to share with you guys what the plans are for my YouTube channel and my YouTube space. Also, my blog, there will be content, but it'll probably be once a week or once every two weeks because of all the things that I'm working on this year. I really just will not have the time. Uh, I do also want to make my videos more creative uh, and not just be something like that's here that's focused on here and me sitting here and chatting to you guys I do want to make it something a little bit more creative so that's what we're gonna do and then for setting spray because we're pretty much done I'm gonna go away and put on my lashes because you know that's how I do uh, but I'm gonna set first this time around um, for setting spray we are using the glam glow glow setter spray i've used the spray a couple of times it's a really good spray and it smells amazing okay it smells really really good so let's spray shall we jeez i literally i literally could go in with this all day that's how good it smells oops so we're done. One thing that I do want to talk to you guys about. Before I used to use the eye glue for eyes until someone, I forgot who notified me about the fact that the eye glue wasn't, wasn't good, wasn't safe for the eyes and stuff. And then I picked up this glue. This is the Kiss, I think it's the Kiss one. Yeah, this is the Kiss Strip Lash adhesive and it's clear and transparent oh my god first and foremost it takes me much quicker to apply my lashes with the eyelor one man i could be waiting there for a minute just <sighs> with this one i apply it and then 15 20 seconds later i can literally put it on and it sticks and there's no problem and uh, my my eyelashes apply on quite nicely I really really like so I it. I hope I didn't aggravate anyone with the whole beauty announcement but to be honest I just feel like I want to carve a different path especially on my YouTube side um, so I noticed that ugh, I just figured that you know what keep the beauty leave the beauty to the beauty people I just kind of want to carve my own path on YouTube and start my own story on YouTube that hasn't quite been especially South African YouTube that hasn't really quite been delved into so much and that being self-development and motivating and empowering and this being a channel for women by a woman obviously but um yeah so that's what you're gonna see from now on on my channel um there'll still be other videos that are quite different to uh what i'm talking about now but for the most part uh, all i just wanted to say is that the beauty videos are going to drastically re reduce um you'll probably see like get ready with me is where i catch you up on what's going on in my life or you'll see a collective beauty review where i'm reviewing some of the products that i have bought that is pretty much it i doubt you'll see like uh favorites videos and hauls and things like that it's just not my cup of tea anymore and i hope you guys understand so that's it from me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm definitely going to be doing another one as an introduction into productivity and into the new year and some of the things that I uh, rely on to keep me productive as a person who's constantly busy and constantly working and yeah I'm gonna go I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one bye